Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Pimentel and I'm a flight attendant for an airline here in the United States. And today I'm going on a trip with my best friend and roommate, um, my ex-roommate, because we used to live together. But once I'm now that I'm in Dallas, I just realized that they they lost my bag. They lost my suitcase. They lost my suitcase. <laughs> my suitcase is lost. My suitcase is not with me because it's gone. Anyway, so I have to figure that out, but I will show you Dalton soon. That's his name. Love him to death. Anyways, I gotta go figure out my life, but sorry for this really insane intro. See you All right, everyone. I still have not gotten my bag. Apparently, it's in Miami, but anyway, I'm here with Dalton. Hey. He is legit my best friend. <laughs> we are, we have been roommates. We went to training together. We lived in New York together for the first like three years. Now he still is in New oh, York. I live in Florida. Due to the TSA, Security Administration regulations. And today we met up after like almost two years of not traveling together. Uh, we miss it. We seriously miss it. And we also miss each other. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And um, <laughs> we are going, where are we going? Rapid City, South Dakota. Yeah, we're about to go check out our founding fathers, Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Mount Rushmore, here we come if we actually get there. Yeah, once again, still don't have my suitcase. I don't have clothes for this freezing cold adventure we're about to embark on. It's only gonna be like mm, 20 degrees or something. I'm gonna die. We are still contemplating where this darn suitcase went. We're in Rapid City now, and of course it's not there, so great. Nope, no suitcase to be found. Um, why did it end up in Miami? How did it end up in Mi Miami? Miami. Miami. Um, especially since gate checked it at the gate, so it had to have gone down that chute. So I picked it up and literally ran it to another aircraft. They were like, nope, this one's going to Miami. They're like, this girl looks like she gets her suitcase stolen a lot <laughs> and taken from her. So we're going to go ahead and just put it on another airplane, send it to where she's actually living currently, but is not going to be at for the next week. Yeah. I feel like this is probably like part of the amazing race. And they were like, your next destination is Miami and you need to find your suitcase. Or and freeze you have to, to death. walk there. Yeah. <laughs> without a car. With no car. All right, currently at our hotel. Dalton, say hello. I'm tired. We are pretty tired. Gonna go to sleep. Um, figure out what we're doing tomorrow. We're in Rapid City, South Dakota. So we are gonna go to Mount Rushmore, yay. And then figure out our lives. We're playing it day by day. This is how we like to travel. Day by day, hour by hour, second by second. Things could change like this. Like that. Let me see. Like that. Anyway, also, I told you on the last video that I got my blood taken out. Look at what they did to me. It is so... Oh, God. That is bad. They were not very nice. It, my arm looks disgusting. Gross. Anyways, going to bed now. See you in the morning. Good night. Good night. Wake up in the morning feeling like PT. Got my glasses, I'm out the door. I'm about to hit this city before I leave. Brush my teeth with a bottle of water. Water. <laughs> Anywho, all right, we just woke up like this, beautiful and lovely as always. Didn't do a thing, didn't shower, didn't do a thing. Just rolled out of bed. <laughs> rolled right out of bed. Anyway, we had some breakfast and now we are gonna go head to Mount Rushmore and see some really cool old guys made out of stone. Out of stone. Also, for Dalton letting me wear his clothes, it's actually not that bad. This is his <laughs> scarf. This is his uh, sweater. I have my shirt underneath and I'm wearing my my leggings that I wore yesterday. Not Don't judge bad. me. And some it is socks. Probably cuter than what she had. So. Um, probably. <laughs> my clothes are ugly. <laughs> All right, we're excited. Knock off something off our bucket list. Here we go.
we're obviously at Mount Rushmore. We expect it to be a little bit different. But, but it's actually quite easy to get here. Like we literally parked and within five minutes we were right here. Yeah, I was actually hoping for a little bit more of a hike, you know, but it was like less than a five minute walk. Yeah. So definitely not getting our steps here, that's for sure. But you know, it's still really pretty and very interesting to see. So definitely happy that we checked this off our bucket list. Mm-hmm, one last thing. So like I said, it is very convenient and easy to park your car and then go see the monument itself. It only costs $10 to park the car and that's all you pay for it. The museum is free and a great way to get a little history lesson on your vacation. I know it's going to the national park, but 24, that's a lot. Sorry, South Dakotians, but we're Sorry. not down. <laughs> not when this car costs $24. Yeah, not down. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as you just saw, Dalton and I obviously didn't have chains in the car, and we probably shouldn't have gone down an icy road, but here we are. We got out of that. I thought we were goners for a second. I thought we were going to have to <laughs> just camp and open up a mom and pop shop and sell our... What right, belongings we have. <laughs> yeah. I don't even have belongings because I still have my suitcase. <laughs> Anyways, we're at Selvin Lake now. So far, it's really pretty. Very pretty. Also, thanks Google Maps for sending us down that road. Yeah, Google Maps, not cool. Not cool. All right, so at Sylvan Lake, wow, gorgeous, beautiful. I can't even, it's picture perfect. Frozen. It's but frozen. how much money would you jump into this lake for? Leave your comment down below. <laughs> Don's like, I'll do it for free. <laughs> okay. We returned the car, but we're kind of rushing. You're always rushing. <laughs> because it's partly Dalton's fault and only 0. 0.3 mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably because we got stuck, but it's fine. <laughs> Just kind of talk to like the customer service people to get my bag back. I'm also the only person in this airport, except for Dalton's downstairs waiting by the baggage claim door because my bag is actually in there, but there's nobody there to open the door and give me my bag back. So I, I know it's there. I just called them and said someone's gonna come back down there to get it. So this is good. Yay. Um, yeah, this has been kind of crazy. Oh, else so we had a great day today, but you know what? I'm about to get my bag, so I'm happy. But it was pretty funny because I can see it. I can see it in there. I'm like, I need it. I need it back. And I love wearing Dalton's clothes and everything, but I need my underwear. I need to wear my underwear. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Woo, we found it. <laughs> we made it. This is country. This is where I shall die. <laughs> Alright, wake up. It's time for us to go. No. No. Okay.
Not yet. Good morning, everyone. We are currently in Boise, Idaho, expecting it not to be snowing, but here we are in the snow. Mm -hmm. Treading downtown, getting all wet. Yeah, our my shoes are and socks are wet already. Um, anywho, we are gonna go take a walk in the snow, no big deal. <laughs> get some coffee, go get some donuts, go get some lunch, mm -hmm. go walk some more around town in the snow, mm -hmm. make a snowman, have a snow fight, mm -hmm. make a snow cone, mm -hmm. eat a snow cone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Need a potato. Yeah, oh yeah, they were gonna go potato eating. <laughs> Okay, I've always heard that Dutch Bros is really good coffee. Dalton is like, honestly a gremlin. He doesn't drink coffee, I don't even understand. So... Feed off the energy of the people around me. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. So, what, are, what were your thoughts on Mount Rushmore? Um, one thing, apparently everyone was surprised by the lack of people there. I guess Mount Rushmore isn't the most popular in December. Um, but that uh, allowed us to see everything and take some really cute photos. Right, and I was very, very shocked by the fact that nobody died creating it. Yeah, yeah. I was like, 20 years of building this thing, giant dynamite rocks. Yeah, someone definitely died. Also, some people have definitely been a little bit of haters of going over there because they're like, oh, why would you want to go see that? And I'm like, it's art. art it's beautiful. Art, art, art. Somebody had to construct it, build it. They used dynamite to make it. Like, they had to build cage wood boxes to stand on just to build it. So yeah, I think it's something to go and appreciate. Gorgeous. Loved it. Yeah. Easy to get there, super easy. It's you, And it's only $10 per car. Yeah. Got so it. if you're gonna go, 10 bucks per car and Bring you Bring like go. 12 people, at least. Yeah, sh stuff your car. Make <laughs> money while you're there. <laughs> All right, in Freak Alley Gallery. It's definitely a must if you come here. It's super cute, awesome murals. So many murals. It's murals, not murals, right? Murals. Wrong. <laughs> English is my second language. <laughs> Donuts. Look, free. I love donuts. Mm. I love donuts. Wow. It's delicious. It's moist. It's nice. Delicious. Now, this is a cake, chocolate guru donut. Mm. It's all you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. I'm very choppy. I like the other one better. Still good. Boston cream. Here we go. Mm. That's yeah. good. That's a good donut. Boston cream. Actually, they're healthy. The potato one is my favorite. Potato the Boston one's good. cream. Yeah, this one's really good. The cream is awesome. Come to Guru Donuts. Boise, Idaho.
Home of the what? Potato donut. So in order for us to get around town in Boise, Idaho, we used public transportation, which was very easy. All we did was download this app called Umo, and it cost $2.50, and we had a day pass to ride the bus, and it was very convenient. All right, everyone, we just got to San Francisco. We're heading to our hotel for the night. Yay! Woo! We got the rental car, because we're going to be heading up to Napa Valley, AKA Wine Country. AKA, AKA gonna thirsty. Go where you're thirsty. Go where you're, you're thirsty. thirsty. Mm -hmm. Gonna have some fruit salad in the form of a liquid, which is wine. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. We're gonna book some vineyards, and then you can follow and check out our adventure with that. Beautiful morning. Good morning. We are in Napa. So we decided to come to wine country today. Although the weather is a little rainy, but it's okay. We are not gonna let it rain on our parade because we are gonna go wine tasting. Airport and heading back to we don't know exactly where we're gonna go yet we're definitely going back to the to the East Coast to go home but I'm not sure if I'm going to New York or if I'm going to Miami so change of plans we are now both going back to JFK gonna yeah. do something in JFK tomorrow or New York and then I'm on call the day after and Dalton has to work as well eventually just kidding, we never work. <laughs> everyone as you can see I came to JFK after our trip with Dalton and we just decided to take the red eye right back to JFK we flew on JetBlue so it's pretty cool that we've been on four different airlines throughout this entire trip I love flying different airlines I love seeing what different airlines do for their services and how they just go about things I love that so this was a really great trip that we went on we're able to go to three different states California is um, where I'm from so I've been there before but I have never been to Napa so that was awesome had a great time in Rapid City going Going to Mount Rushmore and an awesome time seeing Boise, Idaho because I've never been there as well. Trip was a success. I love traveling with Dalton. We both have this go, go, go attitude. A lot of you might think like, wow, you did way too many things and it was too rushed, but honestly, that's just what we like. So no complaints for me. I had a blast. I'm currently with Tori now because she actually has a hotel here at like close to JFK. So I'm going to be staying with her. I'm on reserve tomorrow and I'm just going to be in New York now for the next three days and I will post in my next video about my reserve days here in New York and you'll see that next. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.